Welcome back to PMart today, we have Banks Lucid Armor Case. It's not a sponsored video, but Banks did send us us for an unbiased review. It comes in three colors, black, white, and purple. It's around $19.99. We'll put a link down below. Here's your barcode or serial number. So let's open it. There's no manual or paperwork inside. All we have is that nice frosted case. This color would go hand in hand with your space black iPhone 14 Pro Max. What I like about frosted cases that you don't necessarily have to worry about fingerprints and you can still see a little bit of the color of your phone. Also, it's a little bit more resistant to scratches as well compared to clear cases. It's nice that they have a black MagSafe magnet. Some cases would have it a different color. I mean, it does pop, but this one blends in more of the case. Similar to the Space Black, this would go well for your deep purple iPhone. This also looks nice as well. Simple. On the side, there's no hole for the lanyard. You got this clicky metal buttons. We're gonna check that later. They're getting really better with buttons now on cases. Going on the top, it's just a smooth finish. On the other side, you got the mute switch. Uh, maybe a little bit on the small side, we'll check that later. For your mute switch, then you got the volume rockers, also made in metal, should be clicky. Going down here, it just is made in China. Now at the bottom, you got your lightning connector, also the speaker cutouts, that's nice. One is bigger than the other, so that should match the phone. And one thing we always check, we press this down, that is strong, it's not flimsy, because usually when you're putting it in your lightning connector, in and out, in and out, in time, this might rip. So this one is not flimsy at all. Inside of the case, you got the mag clap designed by Banks. MagSafe also have the alignment at the bottom here. You have your raised lift for your camera protection. View from the other side, definitely going to need that protection from that 48 megapixel lens. And going around, this is nice. You can see you have those bridges on the side. That would help absorb with the drop. So you get more of drop protection. I believe the website says 10 feet as well. So there's some on the top, on each corner here, on the side. And let's see if they have it at the bottom. They don't have it at the bottom. It does have a little bit of flex in there. We're going to see if it's hard or easy to take off. Also, we notice on the top, there's a slight cutout. That's nice, so it won't get in the way of your speakers. This is our iPhone 14 Pro Max, the purple. Let's go ahead and try with this one first. Always go on the top. The camera is. Press down with your index finger. Push all the way up. And just go around. It blends very well with our phone. It feels good on the hand, nice and smooth. I mean, of course, with this texture, a little bit on the slippery side, but it feels good on the fingers. Put it down. Yeah, so there's gonna be times that you might slip. Let's check out the buttons. Yeah, that's clicky. Okay, the volume. Responsive. Doesn't have a hole for the lanyard string. Now let's check out this mute switch. Now it's a little bit, I mean, you could still dig in there with your index, but I believe the hole is a little bit on the small side. It would have been nice if this was a little bit bigger. It's just a little tricky to get in there. Bottom view, that's very nice how you got the speaker cutout matching the phone, meaning one is bigger than the other. Third-party lightning connector, no issue whatsoever, plenty of space. Now the screen is a little bit on the flush side. This is a slim case. You can see here, I mean, we have a screen protector, but even without it, you have just a little bit of that razor lift to protect it, but not so much. I mean, it's almost flush with our screen protector by Flow Lab. It would still protect your phone, so if I pull this down a little bit, you have that exposed screen at the bottom. Here's a better view with that nice cutout on the top so it doesn't get in the way of the speakers. Fitment of the case, let's pull it from the side. Oh, that's a tight fitment. It doesn't really move at the bottom. Okay, you got some movement here on the top. It's tight and of course corners are very tight. Now the question is, is it hard or easy to take off with a tight fitting case? Let's see. Start with this corner first. Do the other side. Ah, okay. That's good. For a tight fitting case, it came off fairly easily. That's a big plus if you're the type of person that switches case a lot. So let's go ahead and try it with the black corner. Let's see if the fit is the same. Should be the same, but let's see anyway. Okay, easy to take off, put on. This time you have black. With this one, it kind of hides the color of your phone. If you have a purple one, it turns black. I mean, it still pops out on that camera. I mean, I guess that's nice. Got that deep purple popping out. 
Buttons the same, clicky. Just a quick look around, matching cutout stickers. You have the cutout on top, and on the screen side, you have a slight lip protection. Checking out that camera bump on the side. Is it high enough? Okay. It's gonna protect your lenses. Here's a view on the top. Yeah, it's high enough. Just on the side here. Got the bank's name on the side. This one actually looks nice as well. Now, I'm not sure if this affects you guys that much, but you do feel a slight bump here compared to other cases where it's like flat smooth. This one you can kind of feel where the magnet is because it's a little bit raised. Let's see if this one's easy to take off as well because the purple one was good. Yeah, came off. There you go. We saved the best for last. We gotta check out that magnet string. Now, this would make it or break it just based on the magnets alone. We'll see how much of a hold it has. Let's put on the purple one. We got the speaking MagSafe grip here. Now, it also depends on your accessory. This one has decent magnets. Let's get try it on this one. Looks actually nice with this because of the matte look. Let's see? Yeah, that's about your above average MagSafe. That's good. Now, with regular hold, you'll be fine. Let's go ahead and exaggerate this already. Okay. Twist. Random. Let's just see what it takes to take off. There. This is all just preference. How does it compare to other MagSafe cases? We have to talk a little bit on the low end. This is Apple's official leather case. This is good. Anything above it's even better. Then we have Rhino Shell, which has the strongest MagSafe so far. Bang stronger. I say it's about the same as Apple leather case, so that's good. Rhino Shield is stronger. So Banks goes here. So good magnets. Is it light or heavy? That all depends on the person. 38 grams. Leather case 32 grams. 54 grams. Banks at 40 grams. So Banks goes here. Let's just try a couple of MagSafe accessories. Got your pop wallet. ESR. Apple's leather wallet. ESR ring grip. Anchors. Luke by Shinji Muro. Rhino Shield Max Grip. Edo Ace Thin Grip. And Super One Magnetic Base. Would it wire the charge? So what MagSafe accessories do you guys put on your case? And which colors do you guys prefer, the purple one or the black one? Just an FYI, as soon as you start using MagSafe accessories, you can see a little bit of scratches around the ring. So the more you use it, have more scratches. But this case is nice, tight fitting, feels good to the touch, good magnets, and budget friendly as well. That's your Banks Lucid Armor Protective Case. We'll put a link down below. Let us know if you have any questions. Subscribe and stay positive.